Welcome to Belrite, an open world survival game set in a medieval realm ruled by a brutal tyrant. In Belrite, you'll be tasked with building, managing villagers, and expanding your own settlement. I had the opportunity to play Belrite during this last beta weekend, and I have to say, I had a lot of fun playing this game, and I'm looking forward to playing it on its official release. Alright, let's check out Belrite. Let's just go look around. Talk to Dobron Yorklin. Alright, so this is my character sheet. I got weapons, quick slots, I got food, some armor, I can build a shack, obviously I got my quest, oh this is the map, oh my goodness, alright Herendine is the closest place so that's probably where we're going, copper, just laying on the ground, don't mind if I do, berries, alright bet, alright I see Herendine over there, let's go over there, I guess I'll pick up things on the way. Aaron Dean. Where's Dobron? Maybe I'll go exploring a little bit. My stomach hurts badly. I'm too hungry. Huh? Sorry, I'm busy. Go find the village elder. He should be able to help you. I'm not gonna work with you, you're a complete stranger. Uh, what's going on here? I don't think I should be discussing village matters with strangers. Okay. So he just doesn't want to talk to me. Are you new in town? It's customary that you should greet the elder. Fine, I'll go greet the elder. Wherever these elders may be. Dobron. Yeah, I don't know if I like the voices. I'll be real, guys. Got rats in the cellar. Don't yeah. Warn you. Maybe they're placeholders. If they're placeholders, I'm cool with it. It just stands out like a sore thumb. Come back when you're set up and maybe you can earn your keep. So be it. Anything else? Nope, I'm out of here. Anything you can spare, kind soul? Nah, you ain't getting my money. My zero money. The cows are very bright. Oh, it is cute, though. Alright, let's get out of town. We're building a shack. Oh, this is kind of cool. This seems like a flat enough spot. I'm thinking near this side of the road. Hiding behind these bushes. All right, what do we need? Sticks? All right, my inventory is full. Let's put the flax down. The more powerful your settlement becomes, the more likely it is to attract raiding parties, invest into guards and better gear to fight them back. Uh-oh. All right, it's getting dark. We only need this last stick. Kind of confused about the building at the moment, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. It seems like you just put your stuff here and then you move it over. Okay. Well, I have a shack. Oh, it has a workbench, a chest, and a bed. All right, we survived our first day. Day two. Four days until winter. How do I prepare myself? What can I create with a workbench? Requires workers. I need to get like a torch. It's very dark. I don't know if the torch would stay lit in the rain though. Don't try anything. Oh, look at this guy. Gil Goodacre. And why are you here? If you are not here to cause trouble, then you should not have any problem answering me. But if I get even a whiff of something. Okay. I guess I don't want to talk to you. Alright, Dobron. Give me a chance, man. Bradford election is close. Quest objective. Let's go there. This guy looks like an interesting fellow. What are you looking for? It's dangerous to wander around the woods alone. Haven't you heard about wolves or bandits lurking in this area? Elder Debron sent me. He asked for traps if you have them. I won't tell him that. Can you help me, bro? But you don't know a thing about me or what I went through. I. When I asked for better pay. The elder said no and actually warned me not to ask again. At one point, he said he'd speak to the brigands about my behavior. That's toxic. I'm willing to join you if you provide me with shelter and food. Together, oh, you want to live with me? Each other's lives easier in this land. All right, well, you're not far away from my house, I think. If you have people that need shelter, build them a tent. You can only accommodate two people, so build enough for everyone that might need it. He's going to be my neighbor then. 
I'm just surprised they're settling for these stick shacks. I'm pretty sure I saw full-blown houses over there. I'll make him live, like, right next to me. Oh, snap! What is that? Hey, yo! Oh, I got shot! I wasn't ready for this. I don't have any weapons. Oh, they're running away. They're leaving. We're safe. Sleep restores HP when you and your companions lose battle, they respawn, but become injured for a certain amount of time. When they lose again before healing, they die forever. I will try not to have that happen. Wait, they're fighting the wolves. Unironically. All right, let's make an ax. I need six wood. I right, hopefully when I make an ax, I can at least defend myself. Primitive club. Ax is a bit slower. I need wood for a club. But for now, I'll take an ax. Nice. It's smaller than I expected. Oh. I didn't realize this had directional combat. This is kind of interesting. All right, where'd those bandits go? I'm ready to take you on. Is it working? Oh, it did. My inventory, no. Oh, these are huge. Now that I get the crafting a bit more, it's not bad. I was a little confused at first. We have people that need a shelter, build them a tent. Can only accommodate two people, so build enough for everyone that might need it. But we don't have a settler, but we can go get one. Any good news? Is my new home ready? Your home is ready. You can join me now. You can teach me how to build traps and how they work. Let's get to it. Build the research desk for me, and then I will show you how it. Oh, and remember, oh. once you build them, you should place it in dense forests to increase the chance of catching something. Okay. Your villagers can be assigned to three roles. A worker fulfills your crafting, a companion travels with you, and a guard patrols and defends your settlement from danger. You can command your companions by giving them contextual orders with E to attack, harvest, and move. All right, Lubomir, come with me. I'm taking you home. I mean, I can make him work at the workbench, but I don't know what he would do there. Obviously wants me to make like a research desk. All right, order. Okay. Can I make this guy, like, gather? Like, is that possible? You want to get me stuff? Alright, we're going to bed. Day three. Small trap. Forging. Camp. Logging camp. Standing torch. Village hall. Makes you a higher threat to other factions. Research small trap. Craft the trap at simple workbench and set it in a dense forest. Oh, I see smoke. What is that? Oh, yeah, I hear a fight. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Let me get my primitive club. Oh. Oh. Okay, bet. Igor Rhodes remains. Swipe your mouse left, right, up, and down, and click left mouse bumper to attack or right to block. As soon as I saw there was the directional blocking, I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. All right, fight me. Oh, this guy's real. Oh, he got me. You thought... Oh, he got me. Walter Thorburn's remains. Raid threat increased by 76%? So they're going to be unhappy that I killed their friends. Oh, look at this. What do you got? Cooking book and strap. Well, this is cool. I definitely like the combat. I see where a lot of the emphasis is going towards. Oh, I respawn. All right, boys, you're going down. One at a time, please. One at a time. Okay. What did I say? Oh, he never saw it coming. Harry Hodge. Oh, no. 
He's too strong for a bandit. Miles Cromwell, you're done. Give me all your money and your scraps. I got what I wanted. I got a couple fights. Feels good. Bandits? Really? Oh, snap. This one's got a bow. Lubomir, we're under attack. All right, I got to do this myself. Elwood, do you have anything to say for yourself? And then there was one. Ow. It's getting dangerous out here. We got the three traps. And then we can bring a pelt if we want. We don't have to. We'll see if there's one in the morning. Why is there already fighting music? Lubomir! Oh my god! I literally just woke up. Okay, I'm getting double teamed. That's not fair. Ow. 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 Lubomir. Wake up. We're under attack, Lubomir. Oh. Can you guys please leave me alone? Where are they going? What, the tree is aggressive? The trees fight back again? What's going on? I need to go check on the trap. We got a logging camp, thankfully. One worker can use this to cut down trees in a small area. Best to place in a dense forest. Uh-oh. Small piece of raw meat. But it, I didn't get pelt, though. Dude's so hungry, he's getting berries for himself. Dobron. Did you manage to convince him? He taught me how to make a rabbit trap, so I did it myself. Impressive. Unfortunately, that's not the end. You showed me you're true to your word, but I need more to trust you. Will you do it? Kill two wolves. Work, peasants. There's no time to lose. What do you say? Oh, I didn't realize I can actually hit them. Oh snap! I was kidding. I was kidding. I didn't like how he called me a peasant. I was, it was a joke. It was a joke, guys. It was a joke. Okay. They didn't find it funny. I swear I'm just going to go kill wolves for you guys. All right. Hopefully they forgive me. If not, it's off to a new town. Oh, is that a wolf? They look scary. All right, that's one wolf. They don't do that much damage, thankfully. Nice. Wait, so he said it's optional for Pelt, and then I didn't give him Pelt, and he's like, nope, just kidding. You actually need to give us Pelt. Alrighty, hopefully everybody at Herndeen has forgiven me. My Herndeen brothers, I've missed you. I'll put my weapon away to show how peaceful I am with you all. Oh no. They're still out for blood. We can talk about this. We can talk about this, guys. Please. Uh. All of my loot is gone. All right, now that they have murdered me and seen me return, hopefully now they have forgiven me. Please, please take the stuff. Please talk to me. Let's talk. Yes, let's talk. Why are we talking? No! I'm not giving up on them yet. Oh, they saw me. Ow! Please! I just need to get my stuff. Sneak to Dobron. Fuck. Raid threat increased 90%. What did I do? 
Or we got our stuff. Now we just have to sneak over to Dobron. Yes. Wait, you're back again. All right. I'm now an associate. Nell Lancelin. She wants wants to join. Join me, Lancelin. You're a worker. Get the hell out of here before they kill you. All right, it's been a day. I've helped out the Herendeeners. There's no way they want to fight me now. Earn friend trust level of people in Herendeen. That's going to be hard considering half of them want to kill me. Or maybe they don't want to kill me anymore. <gasps> they don't want to kill me anymore. Dude. Sir. Sir. Gil Goodacre. I am so sorry. I'm sorry for yesterday. I guess let's start with the craftsman's lost tools. At least one of the quests was easy. Here are your lost tools. Marek. Give me the strength book. Oh, heck yeah. Now I just need a hoe and a shovel. My settlement is expecting a raid tomorrow. Why? Just because I killed some bandits? Oh, he hurts. But I hurt more. They can't raid me tomorrow if I kill them all. Give me your dog tags. See, if we fight one at a time, we can do this. Oh, what are those guys? Oh. Oh. So it turns out I couldn't defeat them. And I'm being raided tomorrow. Well, I'll make a weapon and get ready. Maybe it'll be a small raid. It's going to be my first raid, so it can't be that bad. Yeah, let's have a campfire. Is my body still on the map? Yeah, it's right there. All right, we got a campfire. I used to have food, but it all spoiled. Or I dropped it when I died. This is the hardest tree I've ever had to cut in my entire life. Raid incoming. It's time, boys. Boys and girls. They may take our lives, but they may never take our berries. Lubumi, we don't have time. We're about to be attacked. You sent two bandits at Okay, three? You sent three bandits at me? An even battle then. Okay, this is not an even battle. We have defeated the raiders. Good job, team. I will definitely pay you with this money I'm picking up off of these bandits for sure. Well done, team. Back to base. All right, I guess you guys can go back to doing what you do best. Working. Three logs, three flax, and three crude stone for an advanced workbench. We could do that. I guess before we finish the bench, we'll just go to bed. All right, day seven. It's cold. Oh, it's winter. I wonder if trees grow back, because I'm kind of deforesting this entire area. It'd be a shame if it stayed barren. All right, advanced workbench. Let's go. Copper nail, standing torch, torch, small trap, plank shield. Ooh. Primitive club, reinforced club. If you really want to help, let's start with the people of Handy. What do you think I'm trying to do? I have many quests, but not enough time. I guess we're going to sleep. Too early to sleep. It seems like it's nighttime. Oh, wow. That looks nice. I do like the visuals for this game. We are going to go into the wild, maybe kill a couple bandits. Wait, is winter over? Winter's over. I just realized that. I was like, wow, it looks so clear and nice. I bet there will be a lot more reasons to prepare for winter in the future. At least my villagers are finally actually gathering stuff for us. In the future, I would love to get them to be gathering, like, the stones, maybe boots and berries. Why are you also in the water? I'm getting ambushed by wolves in the water. Oh, snap. It's gonna give me... Okay, we're good. At least my two villagers are happy. Even though we get raided sometimes, they're at least a little happy. I had a lot of fun playing Bell right now. I wish I had a little bit more time to play it. 
but the game is officially launching into early access on April 23rd. So if you want to see more Bellright content, be sure to pay that King's tax of one like or one sub. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching and take care.